What's happening guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. So, um, as you can see from the first little clip there, that is a Category 4 Suncoast rebuild kit for an Allison, 950 horsepower plus is what it's capable of. And uh, so we are going to be rebuilding the transmission in my truck. It is right there currently. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a, a pretty, pretty intense project for me and for Mark. I'm a little nervous. It's definitely probably the most in-depth thing I've done so far. From what I've seen, it's not very difficult, but a lot of things have to be in the right place. they got to be very clean. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'm excited to take you guys along. This will probably be like a four four hopefully probably four videos or so I'm just gonna kinda do it day by day try and do a video every day that I work on it I'm not gonna try and cram it all into one video uh, so getting to the point here today we are gonna be doing the transfer case I, the transfer case is just sitting on here right now um, we're gonna pop this cover off and what I got if we come over here is I got from Merchant Automotive the their pump rub kit so those transfer cases are known to have what's called pump rub which we will explain more when we get into this thing but um, it's pretty pretty simple pretty simple uh, modification merchant actually has a very nice install video which that's what I will be following they show you how to do this pretty easily and I'm just gonna basically show you guys what they show me first step would be to there's a snap ring in here you need a, a nice pair of, uh, um, sorry, lock, lock ring pliers. These are called, I guess. You can kind of see they have like uh, ribbed and fat ends. They're for these, these style lock rings that are going to be all through this transmission. So I wanted to get it. I may actually even have to get a bigger pair. I don't know yet. But uh, yeah, so that's the first step. And we pop this sensor out and then we undo our bolts, crack the case apart, and then uh, we'll go from there. But today that's probably all we're going to do is just the pump rub kit. I'm going to be finishing painting some of those parts. Uh, I do have to get the U-joints out of the drive shaft. We are going to be getting the drive shaft powder coated orange. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully eventually we get rolling on this stuff. I can't wait, man. Um, the transmission wasn't necessarily bad, but it was weak and it was the converter was pretty bad So we just decided to just pull it before it got too bad and rebuild it. So Definitely excited a lot of a lot of things to show you guys a lot of cool parts a lot of money as well unfortunately, but uh, yeah, so let's get this transfer case apart here and explain the pump rub Taking a quick second before we rip into the transfer case there, um, let's discuss the flex plate. So you can see here, this is the factory flex plate. This is the stamped piece that your converter is bolted to. So this is technically the flex plate. And then if you go over here, this is just a solid one piece billet steel flex plate from Suncoast. Now if I were to flip them over, the back sides don't look that much different. It's this side that's different. You know, solid here thin stamped here. These are well known to crack once you get higher horsepower numbers. So Sun Suncoast, excuse me, includes this with their um, higher horsepower number kits. I think on their website they rate it as if it's like a 12 second pass and a quarter mile or faster is when they require you to um, do this. So we won't be there quite yet but I think eventually we will be. And then the ARP 12 point bolts you can see this is one here um, this is these were your factory 14 millimeter hex so the ARP ones will definitely be a lot nicer they're a lot stronger and then uh, if we come here see if I can get it to focus these are ARP's directions um, they do want you to put some 242 Loctite on them and then you see how they offer you two different torque specs. You can go 100 foot-pounds and then torque to yield 75 degrees. So that would basically be you you torque this with a torque wrench at 100 foot-pounds 
and you, let's see, let's see if I can describe this here. So you put, say, a breaker bar on, and then you torque it 75 degrees, and that's your, you're done. What I will be doing is the 250 foot-pounds, so just straight torque wrench. What I'll probably do is when you're doing stuff like this in a sequence, it's good to um, do them all like, say, I'll probably do them all at like 100 foot-pounds, and then I'll go back in the same order and do them at 250. And then obviously when you're doing something like this, you want to crisscross each you know, bolt. You don't want to just go around in a circle. So get them all snug, then you know, crisscross pattern, 100 foot-pounds, and crisscross, uh, excuse me, crisscross pattern again, 250 foot-pounds. That's what I'll, that's probably the sequence I'll be doing. So figured I'd go over that for you guys. All right, so we have the transfer case open here. Try and give you guys a little bit of a look. Um, not too complex. You can see down in there, you can see the planetary gear. So the magnet was right here, which it is laying right there. You can kind of see it's got a lot of like little stuff on it. And then here is the ring. So mine was actually broke. And um, the magnet did a pretty good job of catching some of the littler pieces. But uh, that is basically right here. And if you come over to the case, it would hold it. Lay this light down. It would hold that against this nipple here and in here. So that's where your, this is where once that clip breaks, like mine was broken, that's where your pump rub starts to occur because you have movement here and then you'll eventually get a little hole um, in your, on the other side of your case and you'll have a small leak. Very slow leak, but if all the fluid leaks out, then you have issues. So, um, yeah. So the next step will be to get the shaft off, which uh, I gotta remember how to do that here. So, um, and then we will basically unbolt this stock plate and put the new merchant one on. But in order to get the case off, once you get like all your bolts out and then you crack the silicone, there's a snap ring. You can kind of see it in there still. You have to hold it open and kind of use a screwdriver through here and play with the shaft and then basically once the snap ring pops out the shaft will drop down and then then the case is free to take the case off. It was kind of tricky. Um, I just used, I'll show you here, I just used a basic set of snap ring pliers and that was really it. Wasn't bad at all. Um, I'm actually following, if this will come on, Merchant's, Merchant's video for this. It actually is pretty well. You can see there, there's actually a picture of the clip. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, we'll move forward here and get this out, and then we'll go from there. So, the stock pump is out. You can see this is the cover which we are replacing. You can see this is technically your pump here. You can kind of see how this like works. Um, and then here is the new merchant cover. So you can see that it has the the external teeth to basically sit down into the transfer case and then um, it won't have the, the wobble. Basically the only thing that was holding this one was that little clip so once that clip breaks, that's where you start getting your, your movement in this. It, you know, it has room to go like this in there, and eventually it wears a hole in your case. Whereas this one will be firmly in there. So basically what we'll end up doing, you'll take this ring, put it back in there like that, bolt this back up, and start assembling back over there. Alright, so everything's back together here. The new pump installed. Really uh, make sure your O-ring seated in here and make sure you get a nice tight seal here. Uh, make sure you have your bearing on in the right direction with this groove up. And there's a lip down on, on the other side of this gear. Make sure that's down. Put your snap ring back in here. And uh, yeah, that's it. So we'll apply some RTV that Merchant 
um, supplied in this kit and uh, put the case back on put that snap ring back in and we'll be good to go Alright guys, so that wraps it up for tonight. Mark just left there, you guys saw. And uh, so, yeah, got the transfer case all all done and buttoned back up. Uh, pretty very straightforward, simple install. Um, I'm really glad I did it because obviously you guys saw that mine was, my clip was broke. So, that would have probably led to some issues down the road. It may, take, it may have taken a while, but you know, it's, that kit's a hundred bucks. It's a very simple install, especially, you know, while this thing's out and whatnot, so uh, tomorrow all we got to do is torque all these down to 27 foot pounds. I got them tight, but what I like to do with RTV is like uh, you first put the cap on, and you kind of you you know you tap it down, get it decently tight, and then uh, um, kind of let it sit for a little bit and let this stuff cure just a little bit. Then I tighten them down a little bit, just very lightly with the impact, and then I'll let it sit overnight so this stuff kind of cures completely, and then give it that last little torque um, to spec. It's all that's always been my little thing. So um, more to come with this transmission stuff. This is just the beginning. Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. This is a very big project for me. It doesn't look hard, but it's very tedious, it's time consuming, and you got to be clean and organized, so, which I know I'm capable, and I know me and Mark are capable of this, but, uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, uh, hit that like and subscribe button for me, and uh, we'll, see you, we'll see you on the next one here. Thanks, guys.